It's Monday, April 29th. It's hot outside, I just came from the gym, so that's why I look like that. I went to the store just to get some basics, so I will show you what I got. The workout was good. I'm tired because I started too fast. I will never do it again. I just thought that if I start fast, that would be good. No, I got exhausted way faster. So the workout that I used to do previously, like starting so always, worked out better so right now i'm just going to eat and then do things for like myself around the house right now i'm going to go outside just to journal and my notebook read books read some poetry there are many books i need to read you don't even want to see my table <laughs> Baby's there. Two just jumped into the water the first time, like they see me. So cute. Oh my god, there's more. of a successful walk i just did my very first loop around the neighborhood it's been very nice very nice houses have been seen gardens wildlife new plants that was very nice my goal for a day is 7,000 steps so that has been achieved i was very nervous to walk around because i know americans love their private property and you know what can happen if you step accidentally on someone's property so it's like very cautious not to step on anyone's grass i never noticed really until yesterday how actually no this morning how tense my whole body is when i'm on the walk and i feel like it started happening here i was never like that stressed in Belgium or Latvia but now yeah walk I really have my earphones uh, um, in and if I do it's not very loud I look everywhere it does look like I don't pay attention but I'm like 360 all the all the time and um, yeah my body feels very like I don't know how to explain that like very stressed and it's very intense on my body this is a decaf coffee that i drink i try to drink less coffee but my addiction is too strong so now my second cup of coffee is decaf and this one is quite good honestly we were thinking about trying this as a regular coffee as well so yeah first of all i want to show you this flower that i found when i went on the walk it smells divine Oh my god, it just smells so good. I passed the tree and there were flowers and it smelled amazing. It's quite sticky. Then I just want to show you what I got at Michael's. I got this little notebook. What? I got this little notebook because I art journal way more now. And I don't know, it's usually not my... 
Wow. Kind of reminded me of uh, um, like cottage core and purple and lavender, especially lavender is like my favorite color and especially with green. I didn't even know it was green here. So it's quite cute and yeah, I think that would be useful. And then I got this just to make jewelry. It was actually in this section with framing, but it is 18 caliber. Go gosh, go don't ask me, okay? Anyways, uh, so I want to make spirals, like charms. Although I ordered some from AliExpress, um, Pringle Go. Anyway, so I ordered some from AliExpress and I'm waiting for them. They should be here next week. Uh, but I want to experiment and make my own and basically hammer them down, like flatten them and see how it will work. I promise myself not to buy Pringle. I promise myself not to buy it unless I finish some woodwork that I have to do, but I just got it because I keep thinking about it and I know I can do it in the weekend or even like this week before the weekend. Okay, just wanted to show you my breakfast. Chia seed pudding with some cherry jam strawberries with coconut sugar it's like a some sort of a syrup oat milk banana uh dates and peanut butter so yeah that's quite exciting per usual i'm going to show you my little haul from uh, grand asian and treasures joe so drinks beefless bulgaki that i'm going to make with polenta right now tortilla chips of course so i think it's um, pronounced so i never tried it i'm very excited avocados those are the tiniest avocados honestly i will start buying my avocados from food line because it's cheaper long squash coconut cream coconut milk uh beach brown mushrooms green onion zucchinis for this is also for polenta this is also for polenta obviously polenta salsa from trader joe's very very freaking good very good uh this is the best bread everything bagel from trader joe definitely recommend and flour for baking also just really want to show you what books i got in the library this book i need to finish this one need to finish this one this is a new one i opened it it was very interesting and i was like okay i can finish it quite quickly hopefully need to finish this one and this is so exciting to me this is palestinian cuisine and i love learning about new places and educating myself and since i am learning how to cook i thought that would be honestly a nice way to learn about this place that is suffering right now and yes in general i just have to stop taking so many books from the library reading them halfway through and then just my time you know just running out and i have to return them Oh, forgot to mention, it's not vegan, obviously. It has meat and dairy products and other animal products. But I just took this book so that I can learn about the culture and the basics of uh, Palestinian cuisine. And then based on that, I can build my vegan recipes and do more research, basically. Good morning, it's Friday. Today I also don't feel really great. I just feel like annoyed. I don't know, like there's like rage inside of me. But I'm going to do some stuff and after I'm doing that stuff, I may go to the thrift store. Um, but it's, I'm not sure, we'll see, we'll see. Because I have to do other things around the house and then I have to go to the airport to pick up my husband. But actually I kind of want to go to the thrift store. It's almost 11 a.m. so let's 
Okay. Hello, okay, very flattering light. Okay, let me show you what I got at the thrift store. I actually did. Oh my god, okay, let me change you. Okay, not better, but better. Anyways, um, I got a few things at the thrift store. I finally found this lamp. Not like I found this lamp, I found the lamp for this room so that we can have just. Uh, you know warm lights instead of those big lights and yeah it's quite dark in here anyways with the big lights so i think that will help i need to test it but it said it was tested it was four dollars i need to find the shade because i didn't have the ones i liked but i do like that it's simple and there is like this little detail it's quite interesting i think so hopefully it will look good then i found come on then i found this like illustration i guess two dollars it's too cheap and i don't know where i'll hang it Ew, this i did not see but anyways i don't know where i will hang it i guess originally it was 15 dollars. i think it's kind of funny and pretty uh i like their shapes they're very interesting then uh before checking out i seen this basket it's in very good condition. I didn't see any issues with that. And it was only $2. You can always use something like that. And then, because I decided that I will collect miniatures, literally decided it last Sunday, uh, I found this bag with little different things. It's a bunch of like little things, but also little Barbies. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just probably will make um, keychains out of them. And some of them are pretty cool. It was the bag with the most uh, little Barbie dolls. And yeah, I think that would be fun to make little keychains with them. I was kind of happy to find them. There are like little animals in here. Ponies. I guess monkeys or something. Uh, flowers. Bears. And stuff like that. So that's it. Small haul, but uh, I'm kind of happy. There was nothing else, honestly. Not a lot. I mean, there's a lot of things, but nothing to my liking. I'm still looking for a basket to hang. Did not say anywhere. I see a lot of people drifting it at Goodwill or other stores. I had no luck. Not in Goodwill, not in, Goodwill, not in any other store. So, but it is what it is. <laughs> morning it's sunday i'm just writing in bed but i'm finally getting up i've been reading homeless book this morning i started this two poetry books i need to finish this one so badly but um yeah i'm working on that need to finish this one reading this one quite interesting it's a lot of illustrations so quite easy to go through that but right now i am going to make my weekly traditional um egg sandwich a vegan one i just want to say shrinkflation happens so fast those pieces of bread it's everything bagel from trader joe used to be so big like at least there's like a little piece definitely missing this length and this is how they are now literally a few weeks ago they were so big and now they're so small maybe just my badge but i don't think so
Good morning, it's actually Monday and I just came home from seeing my friends. I just feel like so energized seeing my friends and just like knowing, you know, they keep going and it motivates you like, okay, sometimes you feel like you're stuck, but seeing other people continuing the journey and keep going, this can be so motivating. And yeah, I just came home very energized and very motivated and I just want to keep going keep doing my stuff this week is going to be so busy for me so i just need to do the stuff right away i'm home after gym for the past two days i've been feeling like probably even more than two days i've been feeling annoyed and irritated and i don't know what the source of it i wake up feeling like that i don't know what the source of that is and this is like really frustrating and i mean I just don't like anything. I can't even look at myself. I don't like how I look. I just really like want to cry and I don't know. It's fr it's frustrating. I have thoughts about what the source of my frustration is, but it's like a combination of everything, honestly. And I was supposed to go to theater to volunteer, but I'm not going to do that. When I was driving to the gym, I had a few thoughts of just like returning home because I just could not focus on the road. I was flying somewhere and I don't know what's happening and I really want to crawl into my own cave and be safe and I just everything is so uncertain I don't know what is happening what will happen I do feel not positive but I feel like it's going to be okay but in what way I have no idea gonna show you what i got at the grand asian because i love grocery hauls and last few days or honestly i would say like six five days yes like six almost a week oh my god i haven't been eating very good like the past weekend me and my husband we really ate just bad food but it's okay we like consciously decided to do that because we didn't want to cook so yeah and it kind of continued for me <laughs> during the week which is okay you know but i really miss veggies so yesterday i've been eating chipotle bowls that i make at home and so today i went to grand asian to get some tofu and bean curds because i feel like it really missed my tofu or my tofu my chipotle bowls really missed some texture so that's why i got those i also finally got this wasabi green peas i really wanted to try them for so long and oh my god they're heavy I really want to challenge myself and stay away from like artificial things and eat more like whole foods. So, which I was always good at, but since moving to the US, I feel like that has made a struggle. I got one avocado. Hopefully, it will be okay by tomorrow. And I got cilantro and green onions. I'm just gonna stick them into like the glass and let them grow. But yeah, that's my little hole. Okay, I'm making myself for that's why they sound. But look at this. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? I thought it was like a massive bag just like full of peas. But this is just so freaking cute. I don't know what I expected. I feel like I expected soft green peas like full of wasabi. But this is quite good. It's crunchy and it's very balanced so it's not a lot of wasabi i'd prefer more wasabi but it's it's quite good it's a cute little snack
so it's almost June and we still don't know if we're going to grow any veggies and stuff like that but I decided I will be growing the rest of the seeds I have from last year hopefully it will work out in the pots but look what we accidentally grew it's black-eyed Susan and as far as I remember it's a native flower it looks so pretty it's just amazing that it just grew here I don't know maybe the squirrels or someone else were digging up and hiding the seeds or something but it's just so funny that they grew here and it's amazing because this bed is full of them this bed is empty and the ground here is just primarily clay so it's very hard to grow something but we i feel like we invested in this bed a little bit more we definitely put way more like dirt last year but it's just so pretty very beautiful flowers this is the progress here with the berries they look quite big and so exciting also something is happening with the berries as you can see Ooh, i'm gonna show you like yeah, it's getting darker great okay but it has like it's dry so we don't know what's happening and it's not as abundant and it's like before they get ready they actually get bad and we cannot eat them and last but not least this is the raga trifted 12 dollars which i think a little bit overpriced i think this rug should be like seven to ten dollars but okay we need a rug and it's in good condition it looks pretty so i'm happy i just soaked it in water and then i'll see how I'll clean it later but for now I just wanted to let dry and then we'll see okay a little thrift haul I finally find this thing it was just three dollars so I said okay I'll get it I have no idea where I'll hang it but it's okay it's okay at least I have it then I found these two plates it's by this same firm that I got plates before it's some German firm I think those balls are for my cats as you can see because we have some smaller balls and they just don't work for them. So I got them bigger like plates, not balls. And then I officially started building my DVD collection with these two iconic movies. And I'm just so happy I found them. It's really a miracle. And I love both of those movies. And I'm happy they're in my collection now. Mm -hmm. 